Welcome back. I'm here with Jack and Sandra Wilson. They make a great product, but they also have a fabulous story. And Jack, I must tell you, you have the best bearings in the industry. And it was really born out of a great story, wasn't it? Tell us a little bit about that. It was. It all evolved from the ultra high vacuum industry, where the bearings used to destroy themselves, and this high high speed, forty thousand plus RPM pumps. And so we'd put one ball. I would take it apart, put one ball in the in the pump, and of ceramic, and it would burnish out all of the disaster that the regular bearings were making. This thing would clean it up. And then later on, for doing fixturing and stuff like that, we got in, so we were putting more ceramic balls as they got less expensive. And I've been in racing all my life, so we went into doing them, you know, for race cars. And I tried to do something better than what everybody else was, rather than just a retrofit. And that started out in California. You moved to another part in California. Do you remember those moves? Oh, yes. <laughs> Moving his machine shop is a real job. You went from a big machine shop to kind of a, a garage where you really started redeveloping. Is this is that right? Yes. And then now we have five acres in Picacho, Arizona. Now you're near Casa Grande, Arizona, five acres, and you're cranking these things out, and they're very popular because not only is it important to go fast, it's important that your product lasts and stands up. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. A ceramic bearing will typically last three to five times longer than a conventional bearing. And all bearings aren't created equal. Even though there's lots of people making them, most of them are just retrofit. If it's a 5 sixteenths ball that comes out of it, they put a 5 sixteenths ball back in it. And the, the retainers that hold them are very restrictive. They, they grip a hold of the ball pretty much. Where I, We remake all of that. We normally go between one and three millionths of a thousandths undersize. So we make a fast bearing. And nothing goes out the door without me inspecting it. And if it isn't good, the balls come out of it, and the races go in the garbage, and we start over again. So you make a fast bearing. You make a bearing that develops less heat. You make a bearing that lasts much, much longer. Correct. And we not only do them for, for race cars and stuff, but we do them, I do them for companies that rebuild machinery. And they've been waiting for three months to get a hold of bearings and that. They call me up, and within four or five days... I supply them their bearings. So, I mean, real fancy grinding spindles and stuff for CNC machines. We do them for anything from little tiny RC cars to big windmill bearings. That's amazing. Now, Jack was telling me earlier, Sandra, that you are a big part of this. How do you help out? Um, I help him disassemble bearings, put them together, run the machines after he sets them up, do the paperwork, answer the phones, whatever. That is amazing. It's nice to hear a, a great husband-wife story, a success story, and we love what you're doing for the industry. It has really become the standard, and uh, a lot of our viewers out there would like your bearings in their products, in their cars. What's the best way for them to learn more and to find out uh, a way to contact you? We have a website. It's not much of a website, but it's performancebearing.com. I have a telephone number. It's 520 520- Four six six nine one seven six. They can get in touch with me anytime, and we can talk them through. We can do lots of exotic stuff. I mean, we not only build the bearing just the way it comes from the factory, but somewhat better. But we can also custom do it. We can go from a bearing that has normally ten balls. We can put three balls in it. We can put four balls, five balls. We can, or we can fill the whole thing up with balls. So we can be very, very creative. And it happens in a very short period of time. Well, there you have it. If you're looking for the perfect bearing, if you want a short turnaround time, and you want to meet some great folks, talk to Jack and Sandra Wilson, and you'll be able to get hooked up with the best bearings in the industry. Thanks, Jack, for being on. Thanks, Sandra.